Hi everyone. Um, it is November 1st and uh, it's been a little while since I've done one of these because um, I skipped September um, just because I got busy and under motivated and I don't know. I just never did one. So I thought I'd combined September and October. Um, although I don't really remember too much of what happened in September anymore, so, you know. Um, obviously, though, school started the end of August, so September, a lot of that was adjusting to being back in school and getting to know my classes, and to be honest, I really overall enjoy my classes, um, and I'm doing well in them, which is nice. Um, I think... I think the fa yeah I think it was September the family and I took a trip to Massachusetts that I really enjoyed it was something really new and different we went to a drive-in movie and I haven't gone to one since I've been seven years old I'm 23 now so that was really really awesome um, let me think um, and we also went to the zoo and I got to feed giraffes that was exciting um, and uh, I believe that was when I, the month I had a party, too. Although, God knows, I can't remember shit to save my life. Um, so, regardless, either the beginning of October or in September, I had a party. And it was the first time my friends got to bring their boyfriends and stuff with my parents not home. I mean, they... Could, boys couldn't sleep over or anything, but still a step in the right direction, and everyone had a really good time. It was great, and I'm really liking how things are shaping up. Um, it's a little bit of an adjustment period, and it's more people, and but honest to God, everyone gets along great, and I'm, I'm really liking how that's all coming together. We really did have a good time. Um... Unfortunately, the end of September really kind of sucked um, for various reasons, various reasons all over the place, and I kind of obviously won't go into any of it, but it just, bleh. I guess the gloominess comes with the fall, this year at least. Um, as for October, um, October has been chaotic. Um, I've had further chaos with the Southern because they, um, basically my old advisor gave me misinformation. Um, he told me that I needed three more classes because two of the psych classes I took were for the education department. Turns out those two classes I took for the education department actually count towards both degrees, which I originally had thought but I was told the wrong information. And I only needed one, I only need one class and the second half of student teaching with the seminar to graduate. And originally I was like, I guess I'm just gonna be in school for two, you know, an extra year for 13 credits. Yeah, um, but my new advisor of the psych department was like, no, go talk to the education department, see what they think's best for you and they felt it was best for me to continue on. They gave me a special waiver to allow me to take my one class and student teach at the same time. So now next semester, I'm gonna be student teaching and taking a course at once, um, at least towards the end. From March to May, I'll be teaching because I only have to do the second part. Um, so it's good because I'll be actually graduating on time, which I originally thought I was graduating a semester late but it's bad because all the things I had like a year and a half to do, I only have six months to complete now, give or take. I have to take three tests, um, standardized tests that cost a significant amount of money. Um, I have to actually look into grad schools and apply like as soon as possible. And I still have to get the ball rolling for the student teaching. I have all sorts of paperwork to fill out and just all sorts of things I need to do in addition to keep up with my studies and keep my grades good and work like and obviously keep up a social life because I would die without a social life so 
it's just a lot has changed. I know I can do it. I, I, it might be stressful sometimes, but I, I, I know I can do it. But it's just a big change. And I'm not going to lie. I don't take changes in plans very well. I mean, I'm glad I at least know what I'm doing now. Because for like a little while, I was in limbo as to, okay, what are you guys going to make me do? And I had no clue what was going to happen. I'm glad I know what's going to happen now. And that gives me a little bit of peace of mind. But now it's just a lot of rushing and cramming that I originally didn't want. So... I have mixed feelings about this change, to be honest. A lot of people think it think it's a good thing, but I have, like I said, it has its good and its bad qualities, like most things in life. Um, let me see. Uh, obviously, Halloween just passed, and uh, we had a Halloween party this weekend, which was like the main highlight of the weekend. I, I needed to have some fun. And it was pretty fun. Um, did some karaoke. I was in costume. I was originally going to do this V-blog that day while I was in costume. Because um, I was dressed as Avril Lavigne. <laughs> but um, I ran out of time before the party started when I was doing my makeup and all that. And um, yeah, I just haven't found the motivation to put my costume back on. I was originally going to put it back on yesterday because me and Kristen were thinking about going to the bar in costume, but we decided not to. So, yeah, my main Halloween celebrating was Sunday. But it was still good. And, you know, my friends came over for, yeah, a little later for dinner and dessert. And the usual. It was it was good times. Um, what else? Last night, Kristen and I did a Samhain ritual. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, um, well, I think everyone who, most people who watch this know I'm pagan. Um, but Samhain is one of the most important pagan holidays, and it's on the same day as Halloween, and basically it is the equivalent of, it's almost like a combination of the Day of the Dead and the New, and the Witch's New Year. There's a lot that happens with honoring your deceased relatives and um, maybe communicating with them or just praying to them. Um, and you also do a lot of things like New Year's resolutions and cleansing and stuff like that. So Kristen and I did a big thing. We did some card readings um, about the New Year. So uh, yeah, that, that felt really good to do. We haven't done a ritual since like March. So um, Doing that again was sort of relaxing and I guess temporarily reliefful. <laughs> um, my little buddy who you see running around in the screen, um, that's Orion. He just turned seven on Sunday and he's doing better, but Sunday he was not doing very well. He, um, was having trouble walking and he kept falling over and he, he, he had no balance and he was really lethargic and I was really really worried for a while I kept checking to make sure he was breathing I understand he's old he's probably about something around 90 night sorry about my phone shut up phone bye phone um anyway um He's somewhere around about 90 in people years, probably. That's what Donzi said. Um, so I know I, I can't rely on him to live forever, but, you know, it's still a really hard thing to think of um, losing a pet. It's almost like having a child. <laughs> you know, you get really attached. They become part of the family and whatnot. But he's doing better. He's been eating. He's been biting the cage actively and just a little more lethargic these days and occasionally when I pick him up um, or if he moves a certain way he cries so it might be it's starting to get colder out and it might be like arthrit arthritis or something um, speaking of colder out uh, we had fucking snow on um, the, I think it was over the weekend yeah See, I can't remember the weekend. This is terrible. Um, but we, we got snow. Um, this is the 
earliest I recall there being snow. And I'm sorry, I'm not ready for snow. Like, you serious? Shut up, phone. Shut up! Okay, I'm good. <laughs> um, sorry again. Damn, Facebook must be busy or something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so there was snow. And it's gotten really cold, which is so funny because probably like two, three weeks ago it was hot out. Like, it's ridiculous. New England weather is crazy. Sort of comical. So yeah, Merry Christmas instead of Happy Halloween, I suppose. Um, to be honest, October hasn't been a very good month either. Because um, in addition to all the Southern drama, there's drama everywhere. There's things wrong everywhere. And everyone's falling apart. And I just don't want everyone falling apart anymore. Like, I mean, drama was probably the wrong word to use. Because I, it's not, like, petty or anything. Like, it's drama. It's, like, real stuff. Um, ranging anywhere between pets being sick and people being upset about it to financial to misunderstandings to the list goes on <laughs> it's like there just doesn't seem to be any relief and I'm starting to really get worried about everybody and I don't know what else to do to fix it and I'm trying my best to be the strong one but I'm starting to really lose my footing to be honest um, I've even considered putting myself in counseling because I want to be strong and I want to help everyone else but I'm also it's just one thing after another and I'm at the point where I'm really starting to fall apart um, and you know times like these are very trying because they strain all your relationships and things go haywire and people who should be helping each other actually turn on each other and I don't want that for anybody so I really hope this gets better soon I'm sick of the people I love being a mess and I just wish I knew what else to do I feel pretty lost these days um, I'm sorry if this is sort of depressing or anything I'm just being honest because I'm pretty sure everyone knows what this month's been like for them and we're all in this together I guess is what I'm getting at um, but I feel like we have to be it, you know they say you sometimes have to hit bottom to go back up well okay I think we're really close to hitting bottom if we haven't hit if we haven't hit bottom already so things have to go up soon they have to so I send everyone my prayers and my love and positive energy because, you know, I just want it to be better. But enough of my boo-hoo, cry-cry, I care about you, it needs to fix itself rant. Um, November. Um, I don't know too much of what's going on in November. You know, school, of course work of course more student teaching shit of course um, thinking I have to take one of my tests um, so yeah um, that'll be good times <laughs> um, going to Rhode Island this weekend and I'm really kind of happy about it I, I just need to get the fuck away from everything Although, granted, <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to enjoy it. So, I hope I can. But, I don't, I don't know. Um, 
usually in November we end up going to my mom's sister's house for uh, Thanksgiving. I usually enjoy that. You know, minus the fact my cousins try to get me drunk because they're older than me and they think it's funny. <laughs> Lol. Um, but I usually have a good time and I like seeing my family and stuff. So hopefully that'll still happen. And um, me and Kristen plan to be psychotic and go Black Friday shopping. Never had this experience. Probably will never want to do this ever again. Um, you know, once I do it once. But you know what? Shit, we only live once. Let's try it and be ridiculous. Um, and I think I might be having two parties this month. So I think my parents are going away twice. So, you know, I, I should probably think about that and hopefully those will go well too. And yeah, good times. Um, I really don't think I have much else to say, so I'm going to go... But, um, hang in there, guys, because, um, I know things will get better soon. It might not seem like it, but it's gotta. It's absolutely, it has to. And, you know, I love you and care about you, and I know these are trying times, and if you need me, you know where I am. <laughs> Peace out.